sporty performance, yet good fuel economy. A smaller midsize, yet comfortable five passenger capabilities. This gorgeous 2012 Audi Q5 Quattro Premium Plus has it all. This vehicle is currently at Oliver Motors. Oliver Motors has two great locations, 246 West Main Street in downtown Sun Prairie, 315 South Boulevard in the heart of Bearville. You can really have it all with this 2012 Audi Q5. From exciting performance to excellent comfort and convenience, this crossover has a broad appeal. In most cases, compromise means settling on a middle-of-the-road choice that neither side considers attractive. In the automotive wheel world, this usually means performance is traded away to gain economy and practicality, or vice versa. But there are exceptions to the rule, and one of them is this 2012 Audi Q5. As we walk around this gorgeous car, you're seeing exactly what I'm talking about. Again, that elegant look, but yet the sporty look to it. A lot of the great features that are added onto it, like the alloy wheels, like the blinker that's built in the side there. Opening up the door, you still get that elegant feel. Even though you have this sporty look around you, you still have the wood grain interior. Power locks, great power features, power locks, power memory seats, power mirrors, power windows, all right there at your fingertips on the driver's door. You do have that hood release and, or that uh, back hatch release on the side there also. Black leather interior powered on the driver's side. As we hop up inside this vehicle, you have your cluster for your headlamp controls and your fog lamps. The mode and controls for the dash. Your cruise control switch built on the lower left. Up towards the top is going to be your brights, your blinkers, and your lights. On the right-hand side of the steering wheel, you do have your voice controls and, and controls for the, the radio controls. Uh, the, the switch in the back for your windshield wipers. A nice LED display lit up right there on the dash. Make it easy to read while you're tr tr you know, traveling down the road in the middle of the day or late at night. Your center screen giving you a nice, easy, visible display of what you're looking at. Whether it's your AM, FM, XM radio. Or any other the controls that are included in this beautiful vehicle. Down to the bottom left there, oh, that does also have the nav controls right there. So it does have nav also included in this gorgeous, gorgeous vehicle. Down below the CD player, your climate controls. As you can see, it does have heated seats on both sides uh, to the right and left of the knobs. Um, looking down below, this is your control for all the features that are on that display screen up on top. Your information center for the vehicle, your nav, your radio controls. A nice big glove box with an owner's manual. A ton of storage in this small and mid-sized vehicle. As you can see around the, the center stack there and also on uh, right above the uh, passenger side glove box, you do have that wood grain look. A ton of um, storage like I'll show you right there in the center stack, so center console. As we get out, we pop up above. It does have a nice big panoramic roof. Getting out, moving around to the back seat, opening up the back door and taking a look. Again, the wood grain interior giving it that elegant look inside, whether in the front seat or in the back. Like I said, it's a mid-size SUV, but still has a ton of room for five-passenger capability. If you only have three or four people, drop down that center armrest. For an armrest in, in, in the front, there actually pops out for uh, cup holders. Little lever right here drops down that back seat. The back seat is a 60-40 split, meaning you can have... Two people in the back or one person in the back drop down the other seat, giving you more room for storage in the back. As we move around to the back and pop open that rear hatch, you can see this does have a 2.0 turbo motor in it. does have a nice rubber floor mat in the back, protecting just in case you put something down and it spills, you don't get all over the carpeting in the back. Lifting up the rear spare tire jack-jack assembly located nicely hid away underneath, still giving you a ton of room in that back side there. That power button showing you that power back hatch, making it easy. That way, if you're walking up to the groceries, you can hit that. It will automatically open up for you, put your groceries in, close it up as you're walking back up front. As we open up the, the hood, taking a look at that 2.0 turbo four-cylinder, everything you need to check or fill is easily accessible right up on top. Safety features like crumple points, drop-away motor mounts, five-mile-hour bumpers front and rear.